look out, it's the ratting duo Dwayne and Robin as we take on the scaly tails on the small holding. We've not been here for a little while and it proved to be very productive, if not a little dangerous with the piggy wiggies. These nuts! Well hi guys, I hope you can hear me okay. It's a fairly breezy day here in the woods, but I've come to both check on my squirrel feeder and top it up, and it's going down, so I'm hopeful to bring you some squirrel action fairly soon. I've also been out in some fairly tricky conditions on the foxes, so you'll see just how good thermal can be during foggy conditions. Plus, I'll have an in-depth review of Hike Micro's Alpex scope, along with the Recon CT3 HD tripod from Scott Country. All of that's coming up fairly soon. In tonight's action, we're out on the rats. I'd also just like to take a second to say a big thank you um, to those that said hi at the um, Doncaster show that myself and Dwayne went to a couple of weeks ago. What a fantastic show that is. That's actually the first time I've been there and I was only in the market for a couple of cleaning products but I wanted to go along and see what the show um, had to offer uh, and I certainly wasn't disappointed. So uh, make sure you get that on your calendar for next year. I only needed a few cleaning bits so I popped along to Bailey's Shooting and Country Wear stand. Um, John Bailey's no stranger to the shooting community. He's actually got a shop um, in Staffordshire. Um, so I just want to say a personal thank you to John for looking after me um, there at the show. John's also got his own YouTube channel, Bailey's Shooting and Country Wear, uh, on YouTube. So make sure you go ahead and check that out for some great independent reviews um, and advice. I'll put a link to those um, in the video's description. But for now, let's crack on with tonight's ratting action. For anybody looking to start their ratting career, cutting your teeth on a small holding such as this can often be a great way of honing in your skills. This particular permission has many different challenges uh, shooting through the railings, particularly in the chicken pens where you've got to shoot through uh, often multiple layers of wire. Uh, just while I wait for Dwayne to come along, um, he's just running a few minutes late. I have a quick scan around with a camcorder and I can see yeah, plenty of wall. rat activity. Yeah. So I'm only sighted in at about 15 yards. Yeah, right well, as you can hear, Dwayne is here. Um, the rifles are out. So the rats are in session. Game on! First one of the night. As always, I'll put a kit list down in the video's description, but here you can see Dwayne using the Pulsar C50 day-night scope. I've actually got the ATM 4K Pro back on the air rifle because the Alpex um, scope from Hike that I had in last week's episode is still currently sitting on my 22LR. Uh, the rabbit session that I did and this ratting session were only uh, a couple of evenings apart. Um, I'm also actually using my uh, Pulsar Accolade spotter um, in this because I had forgotten to charge the batteries for the Hike Griffin uh, which left me a little high and dry so that's why I am using my Pulsar spotter. A nice double headshot there as the rats show their appreciation by waving their tails. Early on in the evening it was evident that Dwayne's rifle was shooting a little low so we stopped play, got a target out of the car, put it on a box uh, and put it at just uh, 18 paces I think it was which was the average distance that we were shooting the rats at uh, and then had another go clearly with much better results. This is me just testing the zero once we'd zeroed it. Oh, bowled it over a treat. No wrong with that then, is there? No. There we go. Oh, look at him go. Did the pellet come off him? Oh. He's got the moves like Jagger. Oh, 
Beautiful. Meanwhile, under the grain store, I think we hit the jackpot. one there right next to it. Yep, Dwayne couldn't see that uh, second rat from his angle, but I could. As you can see, we're in no rush here. Plenty of these rats are quite happy going about their business. Um, we're using night vision, so it gives you uh, a lot of extra time. And as you can see, taking your time pays dividends. Most of these rats pretty much dead before the bodies hit the floor. This here is a cracking shot though from Dwayne there, without much notice. Sorry, not sorry. It's one of those kind of affairs. All's fair in love and ratting. If you notice, the focus sometimes drifts in and out um, on the picture quality here on the 80, and that's me just adjusting it using the breakaway coaster on the front ring. Show me your face. Like I said, a little bit of patience is all you need, and you only need a small gap. Another one. Oh, I've had some corkers under this thing here. Hell headshots.
<laughs> He's oh yes, dead as a dodo. That toilet noise you could hear there was definitely the cow, not me. Though later Dwayne has an episode that makes him think it was the cow. You'll hear it. This one's a little bit too quick even for me. Luckily, he settles on the floor and just stares at me. Reds it through. Ooh, yes. I'm definitely riding a crest of confidence. It must be those new pellets I picked up at the show from Mr. Bailey. Literally popped up. Huh. You're on fire tonight. Right. We've got ourselves a good sized mammy rat there. They're good ones, aren't they? I'll tell you what, to be hitting these at a decent distance, look at that. That's no bigger than a chuffing mouse. Yeah. This area has seen a serious, reproductive few headshots. Oh, Dwayne. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't believe you. Now we say, Robin. What's that? Scaring is scary. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, 
I think, considering she's been here too long. That's a good size one as well. Um, that ain't too bad. There was one um, in this pen here with these two pigs, but I could not retrieve it without them either biting my wellies or biting the picker. So in the end, I gave that one up. Well then guys, we come to the end of yet another ratting session. Thank you very much uh, to Dwayne for the invite here at this small holding. It's been productive for us um, the last few times we've been, although again, as I mentioned in the beginning, we haven't been here for a little while. The other interesting thing from my perspective is, um, I've never shot so many baby rats. So no, whether that's because we're coming to the end of the summer and there's naturally more young around. I mean, they breed all year round, so you'd expect um, you to pick up one or two little ones, but um, I think Dwayne would agree, we haven't shot um, as many babies um, as this before and if you're hitting rats that big, you know, they're not that much bigger than mice but if you're hitting them um, in the head, you know that the kit is pretty much on point. You've been on fire tonight, you have mate, absolutely. Well, cheers, yeah, oh. yeah, it doesn't always go like that, I know the edit sometimes makes it look like we're um, ultra snipers but I can, I can assure you um, but yeah, I think for, for, for once I could probably count on one hand the amount I've missed. I certainly had um, a good barrage of headshots underneath that, uh, mind, yeah. Yeah, underneath that main um, trough there. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. If you like this type of content, please do give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget also to check out Dwayne's channel. Uh, that's the Wash Wildfowl of Field Sports channel. I'll put a link to that in the video's description but for now take care stay safe and as always happy shooting <laughs>